In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to create our own transitions. Now the catch is you can only create alpha category transitions. And the basic way you create them is by changing the image they're built on. Let's, let me show you what we mean. I'm going to design a brand new one by going to my transition room. That's the lightning bolt or the F8 key. And then I have a custom one I've already created in the previous lesson. To create a new transition, I simply go up above the border of the library and I click on Create a New Alpha Transition. It's the square with the plus in the lower right corner. And then it starts by asking me what, what picture I want to build my transition on. Let's start with this dill pickle here. I'll click it and open it. And immediately it takes me to my transition room. We'll make this a little bigger so you can see better on our recording screen here. So this is my transition room. You notice the first thing it did is it converted this to grayscale. It will always do that. It will allow me to keep the aspect ratio if I so wish. I can flip it upside down or right side up. Um, and let's leave it just unmodified right now and click on uh, Save As. It wants a name. I'll call this Pickle. And we'll uh, get out of that. Now I have a transition called Pickle. Let me drag it and put it between Image 1 and Image 2 and see what happens without any changes except the image. I'll click on the Play. And we'll go through it and the second image comes in let me let me stop this now and we'll use our scrubber to see what's going on here it starts out and then it starts out showing me the pickle which is my second image the woman on the beach and then that that begins to fade in and then eventually at the very end the entire image is there let's go ahead and edit it again i can edit it two ways I can click on this and click on the edit icon. I can double click on it or I can right click down here. So I'll just double click on it. Now I have my pickle. Now what I can do is I can change change it. I can say well let me just go ahead and work on part of the image. We'll go ahead and do that. I'll click on my, my uh, play button down here. And so part of the image comes in. Once again, the rule, the default is it starts with the darker areas first, the black, the pure blacks, then the grays, and then the whites. And so that's how it will transition there. Now the other thing I can do, I can go down here, drag down here, and I can invert the transition area. And let's see what that happens now. Now it transitions my B area, my yellow area, transitions first and the pickle itself transitions last as I move this across. So that inverted it. I can also add a border to my pickle if I want to. Well, green is a good color for a pickle. And uh, let me just save it. I'll click on OK. And let's see how it works again in the real world where I'm going between two images. Notice it didn't change because I did not adjust it. I'm going to go ahead and take out my other one and drag my modified one down. And let's see how this works. Press spacebar. Okay, it's it went from one picture to the other and it did invert and it used the green border for transition. So that's one way to do it. Let me show you a couple of other ones that we're going to create to show you a little bit of the variation here. I'm going to take one. I'll take this black octagon and we'll use it here. We go into it. I'm not going to change anything. I'll just click on OK. Well, let me change the border just so we can see a little more contrast here. And we'll take this and we'll change this color 
Let's change it to red, bright red. And I'll click on Save As. We'll call this Octagon. Okay, there we go. And click on OK. Now let's drag this down to my transition over here. So I want you to see what happens when you have an all black image. Click on the right arrow key. It changes really quickly because again, the order is black and then shades of gray and then white. But the black comes in with the border and then the border hangs around the rim of the black and it stays that way. It's waiting for other colors to change. It doesn't find any other colors until the very end and then you get your second image. So that's what happens if your grayscale has no gray but only black. Let me try another one here for fun. We'll click on the, our create again and this time I want to go to the pretty face. Click on open and this time what we're going to do is we're going to just do the eyes basically the eyes and nose and um, we'll leave it the way it is we'll save it as I'll just call this eyes and click on OK and now we'll take our eyes one and drag it down over here and let's see what happens as we move into that Okay, went pretty quick, but we see the eyes begin first and that the transition and a little bit of the nose, the darkest parts first, and then the entire image. If I click on this and go into edit mode, I see this is what's happening. We've got the darker parts first and then the lighter parts. If I added the hair, that would come in first as well. Let's let me illustrate that. We'll take this like this, click on OK, and now you see the change. I'm going to delete this and we'll bring it in here. And now we'll go ahead and play it in the real world. The hair, yeah, the darker parts again come in first. And you can invert it to have the lighter parts come in first. All you have to do is click back on it and go ahead, go to the edit mode. And then you do the invert transition area. Click on OK. I'll drag it back down. We'll hit play. And the lighter parts are the first. That goes from white to grayscale to black. I don't find a lot of great opportunities to, to make transitions that seem helpful, um, but these are some ways you can modify them. Mm -hmm.